Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Gundam Universe, Sandrock. And yeah, this is based on the 1995 anime. So yeah, this is the best looking figure you can get of this character. Hands down. We're going to wait till it gets to a minute and then we're going to get straight on to looking at the packaging. And then we'll do some comparisons with some other Gundam Universe, Gundam Wing action figures. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Now it's time to get on to looking at the box. I love this box artwork on these boxes. You got a nice product shot of Sandrock wielding his two swords and having the shield on one arm. Gundam Universe, Gundam Wing, and GU13 Gundam Universe Sandrock. Another product shot of Sandrock ready for battle with two swords drawn. And you can store the swords on his back, which is why I did that. There we got the other figures in the line I don't own. But that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at the figure itself up close. This is really well sculpted, really well painted. It looks like it just came out of the 1995 anime. And yeah, this Gundam is so cool. And you can see the swords can store on the back, which is nice. Ooh! Fussy little, little tripod piece. Decided it was going to fall on me. And yeah, legs are really well sculpted. Arms are really well sculpted. We're just going to take the swords off because they're just going to keep popping loose and falling down. And he's got a nice little thruster pack, if I can get it back on there. So you can be like, jet up. But yeah, nice thruster pack, nice shoulder pads, articulation, hinge joints on the elbows, no ball joints. Ball joints on the hands, really tight. Ball joint on the head, nice. I uh, can do some ab movement, bend at the knee, and like knee bends, ankle tilt, kick forward that far, kick back that far. It's due to the skirt that makes it harder to kick it forward. And not a bad looking figure. Really well sculpted, really well painted. It looks great. And now we're going to give him his swords. He does come with some other accessories. We, we'll go back and get the box once we get him wheeled in his two swords. Okay, come on. And the shield does come off. See what I mean? It does come off. It's just pegged on there with a really tight peg. Get his backpack to just decide it was going to pop loose again. Oh, man, I hate it when these pop loose. And not a bad-looking figure. If I do say so myself. Now i got to go find the box where I put it. Because there are accessories that come with this figure. As you know, this comes with other accessories. And I didn't need the instructions for this. It's just that good looking. I don't need the instructions. And look at that. We get like a little artwork design. And showing off all the figures in Gundam Universe we have to collect here. One of these we don't have. This one's hard to find. I really want to find that tall geese. But other than that, that's the hard to find one. He does come with a pair of fists punching fists. 
but they don't have any articulation, so I'm not going to bother switching out the fists, but they can be switched out. I just want them to have the grabbing fists, the grabbing hands for the swords. Not a bad figure, if I do say so myself. But now we're going to get down to comparisons, which is the most important thing we're going to do is comparisons here. Okay, let's straighten out the tripod. So here is Gundam Universe, Gundam Zero Five next to Gundam Zero. I mean Gundam Zero Four next to Gundam Zero Five, aka Nataku. Why not? Dare I say why not? He's got the bean siphon claw hand. Of course, heavy arms next to that mobile suit. Here we got heavy arms. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Of course, Wing Zero next to Sandrock, aka Gundam Zero One. And finally, Gundam Universe, Death Scythe. Next to that, aka Gundam Zero Two, and they look good together. Another shield arm figure, shield figure with a shield on it. Is this worth the money to buy? Yes, this is the best representation of Sandrock you can get compared to the original MIS figure. This figure is hardcore and better than any model kit you can get of this figure. The swords are really well done, the body's really well done, sculpted, looks great, and I highly recommend this to any Gundam Wing fans who love the anime Gundam Wing. These figures are awesome, this one is fun looking, as I remember it was, and it just looks cool. Definitely gonna go on my shelf, for sure. But now I'm going to do a group shot of all five Gundams before I end this video. Nataku. Heavy Arms. Death Scythe. And Wing Zero. Oh, come on, Wing Zero. Dropping your shield on the job. Because he has a thing for dropping his shield on the job, so I don't take him out very much, because his shield likes to go fall down. But yeah, Wing Zero. And here we got all five Gundam Universe, Gundam Wing figures. After so long, I've waited to collect the whole set. I now got the whole set. Make sure, before I end this video, I'm going to say thank you for supporting my channel. And help me get beyond my subscriber count. Please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.